Okay, it's uh, 1 a.m., actually a little after 1 a.m., and I finally have enough progress on the BB-8 droid uh, to show what I have and uh, uh, show the internals and see how it's all going to come together. So the uh, sphere itself will be this Christmas ornament that I got at Lowe's. Um, it's a little less than 8 inches in diameter, and I've cut this hole in it, and the hole is about the size as the uh, uh, black uh, colored circle decals that are on the outside of the droid. So I'm hoping to uh, cover this ugly seam up with the decal. Uh, so that's, that's why this hole is about this size. Um, it also means I'm going to be basically building a ship in a bottle because my hands can't really work inside this, but we'll see how it all works out. So uh, inside that sphere is going to be uh, this piece, which is going to span the length of the sphere. Um, this piece will be glued to the one side, and when the motor spins, this centerpiece will spin. Um, now the centerpiece will have a pendulum, uh, you can see the mass of the pendulum right there, hanging from it, so when this motor spins, the internals hopefully won't spin, they'll stay in the same orientation, and the outside of the sphere will spin, causing it to roll forward. Um, on the right side, there's just a passive, um, passive joint, which is made of Legos, and that'll be uh, glued right there on the ball. Now, hanging down from this piece is going to be this pendulum. Um, and originally I 3D printed it nice and had the pennies nice and then I realized it wouldn't fit in my hole. So uh, I had to um, make it, eh, it looks like crap, but I had to put this together really quickly, but this does fit. And uh, as you can see, it's hanging by uh, a motor. So when the motor spins this mass around, um, it should be able to rotate the whole sphere. Um, just equal and opposite when it spins, the sphere should rotate in the other direction. Um, now, this motor is then attached to uh, this servo right here. Um, and the servo uh, clicks into the centerpiece like that. So the servo can swing this mass left and right, and uh, when, the mo uh, when the robot's moving forward, if the mass is swung to one direction, it'll curve in a nice arc. So the combination of being able to spin the mass using this motor and then being able to swing the mass uh, using the servo should give me uh, good movement control both when, I'm, uh, when the robot's stationary and when the robot is moving forward. Now to attach the head, uh, which is actually printing right now, uh, I'm just going to use magnets um, and then to make it roll along it, I'm actually going to use uh, wheels from a remote control, or sorry, from a Hot Wheels car. So that'll just roll along the surface and uh, hopefully the uh, head isn't too heavy so that the thing uh, falls over, but hopefully it all works out. Okay, I have now finished the wiring. So as you can see, I've got a remote control airplane receiver and a speed controller here. And uh, the uh, um, whole thing is going to have to be put into the ball in two parts. And then I'll try to get the servo in its slot and glue it down while it's inside of the ball. So servos are all wired, motors are all wired. The power switch is on the edge, the passive edge, where I'll be able to reach it from the hole inside the, uh, on the edge of the ball. And uh, now is for the uh, time for the hardest part of this build. I put a piece of cardboard under uh, to support the pendulum and that allowed me to center up the uh, edge so I could glue the passive side. And when I glued the active side, I drilled um, drilled four holes in and put pins so that the uh, uh, hub is strongly connected to the uh, shell. It's done. First movement. Okay, it's 6 a.m. and this is my first test. Whoa. Oh, 
It's Five broken. Uh, sad day. So uh, I was driving it down the hallway and it decided to take off. I gave it no input, but it drove straight into a wall. And as you can see, that broke the uh, main motor off of its uh, 3D printed mount back there. Um, I don't quite know how I'm going to repair it while it's still inside this ball. Um, I'm not quite sure if I even have time or energy to do that, but uh, we'll see what happens. It was actually performing really well without the head on. The head definitely made it uh, wobble back and forth, but without the head on, it was working really well before and now, decided to take off. Oh, okay, so this is gonna be one of those I swear it worked moments. Um, the, uh, um, the ball I was able to uh, fully repair. I was able to uh, um, actually hot glue, or sorry, super glue the uh, um, uh, broken off uh, motor mount back onto the main thing and add some bracing and uh, get it all assembled and it was actually working. And actually, um, when I did that, um, I was able to tone down the, uh, uh, in the program, or on, uh, in the receiver, um, the power of the forward and reverse uh, motor. And that made it uh, a lot slower, but also it kept it from doing the bobble bobble and throwing its head off. So, it was working. Um, and then I went home and took a two hour nap. And when I came back, um, the uh, pendulum mass, which this used to have the pennies on it, um, slid down and fell off of the motor axle. Uh, now, it just was held in by a, a set screw, and I should have dremeled a notch in the side of the, uh, of the motor shaft so that, that that little screw could have uh, a little place to rest and it wouldn't slide off, because uh, this was a lot of mass hanging on that smooth shaft. Um, unfortunately, it's a hackathon, not a makeathon, so you can't really like throw sparks everywhere and um, and do dremeling. So I thought it would hold. I cranked it down real tight, and it did not. It's too late to actually um, go back and fix it. It's gonna be really hard to go back and fix it because um, I might have to take it all out, and do it all again. There's not really. Um, any access to that shaft when it's all put together to actually tighten something down or attach a new pendulum to that motor shaft. Um, so yeah, this was a fun experiment, but um, it's going to have to get completed another day, unfortunately.